Hello, guys. Uh, Alex here. Thank you all for joining in. Uh, this webinar is going to be dedicated to broken backlinks. I will show you how you may detect broken backlinks and how you may use uh, broken backlinks of your competitors in your link building campaign. Uh, this webinar is being recorded, so in case you miss something or you would like to replay it again, you will be able to watch it once again after we finish. Uh, you will have a link in your uh, registration room and you will be able to see it once again. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the chat room. I will uh, check them after I finish and I will answer your questions. So let's begin. Uh, first off, what is a broken backlink? A uh, broken backlink is a link that points to a non existing page. So if a link it ends up on a page that does not exist or 400 page and this is bad for several cases because on the one hand a user uh, clicks on a link and ends up on a page that does not exist so it gives the bad impression about your website so you lose your clients and customers on the other hand uh, this gives bad impression and bad picture for search engines because they will see that you have a lot of non-existent pages so your site structure will look crooked and this may really influence your ranking results that is why it is uh, better to avoid such, such cases when uh, some links point to a non-existent page so first off how can we detect a uh, for that we will need such tool as seo spyglass so once you open as SEO Spy Glass, you have to create a project for your domain. So I have created a, a demo project for some pizza website. And uh, once your project is ready, you have to switch to the linked pages section. So the linked pages section, this is exactly the section which shows uh, the list of pages of your website that have backlinks. Uh, so this is the list. And now we have to check this linked page status code column by default after you create a project it will be um, indicated as not yet checked so first we your our task is to check the status of every page here so we just select the pages click this update button here and click ok so now i will update the status code of every page uh, in this list it will it should not take long okay and now I sort uh, the results by this column. And our task is to pay attention to those 404 not found URLs. So these are the pages that uh, your backlinks point to, and these pages do not exist. So if you click any links, for example, this one, you will see uh, that it will open up as not found in your browser. So this means that you have backlinks that point to such non-existent pages. And our task, uh, the main uh, goal is to fix this. And there are several ways uh, how we can deal with such uh, pages. The easiest way is to, uh, if you just don't want to uh, spend a lot of time maybe or uh, you want some quick solution is that uh, first off you have to create uh, such pages on your domain so you have a list of non-existent pages so just to get quick pages put some content there and all your broken backlinks will become valid uh, but this is an easy solution uh, or the second way is to create redirects for example if you have if you see that there is some non-existent page where a backlink points to, so you set up a redirect. And you redirect, uh, so whenever customer, client, or user clicks on uh, uh, this URL, he will be redirected to the right page. And for search engines, this will no longer be a broken backlink. So they will see that such page exists, it gets redirected to another page. So the problem is solved. Uh, 
what can we what else can be done uh, our next task is to make sure that uh, on your domain there are no links internal links that point to these pages so we have to open website auditor and create a project for your for your domain in website auditor I project is the list of the pages that it has collected and as far as i see uh there are not there are no pages these pages are not included here and this is good this means that my site my site structure is okay i have no internal links that point to those broken uh, to those to those broken pages so there is nothing i should fix on my uh current site structure only to add uh these pages to my domain or set up uh solution is that i may check here uh if you check the number of backlinks column it will indicate how many backlinks actually point to those broken pages so uh click this unfold button and it will open up this uh menu where it will show how many and what backlink pages point to this non-existent page uh, so as I see, this is some blogspot page. Uh, here are other blogspot pages and some other pages. So, for example, I choose this one. Uh, it points to some menu HTML site. So, if I open this page in my external browser here, so this is the page I click, and it opens in my browser. So my task is to quickly find where this backlink is. So um, a quick, uh, a simple tip how you may quickly find, you may just uh, click to view page source, then press Ctrl plus F, and then type in the part of the URL that you would like to find, such as menu HTML. So here you have this link, as you see, it points to menu HTML. And then I copy, quickly copy part of the text that stands near that, that backlink. And again, search for that here. So this is the link that points to a non-existent page. So I click Control plus, and yes, that's that's this the backlink. So our uh, if you would like to uh as I said, so the, uh, the easiest way would be just to create a page on your website that uh, has the same URL. But as you see uh, here in the current structure, uh, the site has PHP, PHP pages, which means that it might not be an option for the site owner because uh, the link points to HTML. So most probably uh, the owner will not be able to create HTML uh, pages. So what we can do is that we uh, should content, contact the owner of this domain and ask uh, him to replace the backlink to the right uh, uh, to the right URL. So uh, to do that, you may copy this page URL and paste it to your link assistant. So link assistant is the third tool that may help you with this uh, thing. So you create a project in Link Assistant for your domain, then click Add, paste this page URL here, choose to add these URLs as your current backlinks, get exact URLs, and also check to update the page info. Click Finish. Now uh, it's the information, and our task is to add also the verification past and anchor text columns so these columns have been added now i have to verify the status of this link here in my link assistant project so i click verify and choose to only yes it shows that the link exists and the anchor text is the following so our task now is to contact this uh, site owner and ask him to replace the backlink 
to an, uh, to the correct URL. So uh, of course it might be a, a really uh, boring task and it may take just a lot of time to find the contact information and just to uh, persuade the site on to change the broken uh, link. But it actually this is uh, a good thing to do because on the one hand you do not need to create redirects. Uh, on the other hand, you your backlink remains. Uh, you just cha uh, just change the backlink uh, anchor URL, and you do not lose your link value. And uh, with the help of Link Assistant, actually here you can send emails to the site owner. So you may just what you have to do is just to search for a contact email. Uh, most probably it will be located somewhere on this block, so you could contact the site owner. And then once you send email and ask and the site owner changes the backlink, you will be able to track it right here in, inside your project from time to time, verify. And you will see the uh, anchor text and the anchor URL, uh, found anchor URL here. It will display what is the correct anchor URL of this, uh, of this backlink. So this is the way how you may get rid with your broken backlinks. On the one hand, you may either fix them quickly directly on your domain, so just create the pages with the same uh, with the same URL, set up redirect, or contact the site owner and ask them to replace the um, to replace the backlink URL, backlink anchor URL. But how this can be, uh, how this can help you with your link building campaign. Uh, as you might have already guessed, uh, the same tactics may be used to analyze your competitor's uh, backlink profile. So you create a project in your SEO spy glass, but this time you create the project for uh, uh, for, the, for your competitor's domain. And again, you go to the linked pages section, analyze the um, anchor, uh, the status code of the pages, and this will give you the list of sites that point to non-existing pages of your competitors. So your next step, again, is to contact the site owners and ask them to, and offer them to replace uh, the backlinks that point to your competitors with your backlinks. So basically, uh, the site owner should be interested because it is not very good uh, for him as well to have a backlink that points to a non-existing page. So if, if you if you contact the site owner and says, okay, hello, uh, looks like I have a broken backlink uh, on your page, which points to this non-existing URL. So I would ask you to replace this with uh, the following URL, which is them thematically relevant and will not spoil all your content. Most probably the site owner will agree and will use your Anchor your uh, will use your page in that backlink because uh, they don't want to change the content. They don't want to change the um, the site structure, and it will be uh, it will take less efforts for them to change the just the backlink URL, anchor URL, than to just to remake the whole content. And uh, so that's how you use this in your. Uh, link building campaign as well. And again, using Link Assistant will help you to track all these uh, backlinks um, inside one project and make sure that they are properly, uh, that they are using proper anchor URLs. To make things easier for you, actually, you may set up anchor. Um, anchor text inside your link assistant project. For example, right now it says that this domain uh, passes the verification and it points to the following URL, but it gives you no, uh, you know, no alarm because if you have like several thousands of such links here, it might be really difficult for you to find out those which point out to incorrect uh, anchor URL. So uh, what you have to do is that you go to preferences, prospect management, anchor settings, and you have to create an, a new anchor text. So like, like this. So you have to 
uh, enter that just a second. So this is the menu HTML. So we want to that link to uh, points to menu PHP instead. So I copy this and I set up menu PHP. Uh, it may be again just sorry, Joe's Pizza, and that's it. So I have created a new anchor text. Okay, then now I uh, click, right click, and choose change anchor text. Select this one that I have created and click OK. I may also double click that link and say that uh, the sign anchor URL, yes, is correct. So again, after I click verify, it will change the uh, verification past status to yes, but it will show that it uses wrong anchor. So this way, after you create a custom settings and set them up for all your broken pages, uh, you will be able to project and quickly find those backlinks that point to incorrect uh, to incorrect anchor URL. This is how you can quickly do this in your link assistant project. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. This is some uh, quick tips how you may use website auditor, spyglass, and link assistant in your link building campaign and also in your uh to find broken backlinks uh if you have any questions now please ask in the chat room Can you suggest me the way for international SEO link building? Uh, if you would like some suggestions for link building, I suggest you to uh, check our news. Uh, sorry. To check our news. The wrong. news section here, and there you can find uh, articles that are dedicated to link building. And this is where we share all our experience. There you will find both for inter, you know, link building strategies to consider top six link building strategies. Uh, all the details for link building are shared in our articles, so you may find there. Uh, this webinar is dedicated only to broken link building. By the way, the, the tactic that I shared with you, this broken link building can also be considered as an international SEO link building because you, the same way you can analyze any domain, any international domain, and find what broken backlinks it has and replace them with your backlinks. This, it works in the same way uh, for international websites as well. But please do visit use blog and you will find a lot of information described here for link building
Okay, any more questions? Okay, it looks like we have no more questions. So again, thank you all for joining in and follow up ideas or uh, you wanted to share your feedback, please feel free to send it to uh, our support team. You may submit a ticket on our page and send your follow-up questions as well after this webinar is over. Uh, so thank you again all and have a great day. Cheers.